After predicting the Bitcoin top only 15% away from its top at 58.2k, I'm about to make another bold prediction to say that the bear market is over and we have bottomed out. Now, will this mean that we will see another price explosion and parabolic moves again? Well, uh, we probably won't see that just yet. But I'm going to share with you guys all of the reasons of why the Bitcoin price has bottomed out and what could invalidate all of these bottoming out signals right now. But first of all, let's break the YouTube algorithm again by smashing up the like button so YouTube will share this video with as many people as possible. But first of all, before going into the signals of why Bitcoin is bottomed out right here, this could be invalidated very easily with the current world situation right now going on. Because things can get very easily very worse. Because the Fed is still hawkish. They are supporting the current raising of interest rates to fight the inflation. Which is of course a bad thing for Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, it looks to be like they are about to pivot. But yeah, still they are hawkish. So that is of course bad. Also, the war in Ukraine, if that would get any worse... Yes, indeed. Also, we might get another dump for Bitcoin. It could invalidate all of these signals we're about to show you. Uh, just like the war or the conflict between China and Taiwan. These things, of course, can't be ignored. And uh, yeah, potential new news that might be coming out can interrupt these changings and the signals we are currently getting of Bitcoin bottoming out. Let's first start with the technical analysis and then end with the on-chain analysis. And just like we did in the video, we predicted the Bitcoin top right here. First of all, we are getting this falling wedge breakout right here for the Bitcoin weekly time frame. As you can see in the picture, we ha were having a clear, clear uptrend before we were creating this pattern right here. We went into the falling wedge pattern and right now we are getting our breakout. Now, look at this legendary support line. In 2017, it provided clear support in the bull run. 2018, it provided right here the bear market bottom. 2020, it provided huge support. Yes, it wicked down below it very quickly, but it did not have a candle close below this level. And right now, it is also providing huge, huge support. And right now, we are finding this bottom once again from of this level. Now, looking at the two-day EMA ribbon, this is about to cross bullish right now. And um, looking back into time, you can clearly see that every single time we cross bullish, we started a huge, huge parabolic move. Also, the three-day super trend indicator is currently crushing bullish. And as you can see in the past, once we cross bullish, all of these signals appear. Of course, we got a huge, huge uh, sell signal right here. Boom, we went downwards right here. Buy signal, boom, we went upwards. Uh, yeah, and as you can see in the past, uh, it has been very correctly predicting all of the trends right here. Boom market incoming, buy signal, boom, we went to the upside. And you can see time and time again, this super trend uh, indicator predicting the bull and bear markets. Right now, once again, it's flashing. So yeah, I'm definitely considering this signal right here. We're also having the uh, hash ribbons right now crossing and giving out a buy signal. And uh, I've highlighted all of the times the hash ribbon has brought out a buy, buy signal. And as you can see, we are having all of the time very, very great returns. Not less than 30%. And right now, once again, it's flashing which means that yes, indeed, we will be getting at least a 30% increase in price. Now, also the RSI is very, very overbought right now. And this is not necessarily a very bad thing because if we go back into the previous bear market, right here, you can see that yes, we got this very nice move towards the upside, but the RSI got very overbought, as you can see. Still, we continued rallying towards the upside and dipped dipped in towards this overbought territory multiple times right here already three times and uh, as well right here in a huge parabolica in the parabolic move towards the upside in the bull market we also dipped into these uh, regions of overbought territories multiple times so is it pretty much a very bad thing that we are being overbought on the daily time frame right here i do not necessarily think so because in the past we have seen that, yes, it has actually been a good thing. And it has actually 
shown us that yes, the bear market is over and we're in for some more bullish continuation. Now, as well as the MACD indicator right now, also flipping bullish and in the past in the bear market, it has also shown that once we got th that flip, we were bottoming out right here. So yeah, indeed, once again, MACD flipping bullish, very bullish signal we are getting right here. As well as the stochastic RSI right here, being in oversold ter territories once again, it looks to be like we're curving up right here. And as you can see in the past, in this bull, uh, bear market, you can see it very, very nicely that once we started to be curving up, Bitcoin has bottomed out at about that region. Now, this is a very interesting signal, actually, because we are about to be breaking above the 200 daily moving average. And if we scroll down to the past, you can definitely see the importance of this line of this 200 daily moving average. As you can see, it indicated a clear bull market and bear market whenever we were underneath it or above it. And clearly in this bull market right here, you could see the importance every time we went towards this line, we retested it and bounced very significantly from it and uh, continued our uptrend. Now also this support line right here has been providing support in all of the bear markets in the past history of Bitcoin all of the time, as you can see right here. And here. Now this is also very interesting because in the past, every single bear market has lasted for approximately a one year and a bull market has lasted for about three years. If we go further with this data, you can see, yes, the bull market has lasted once again three years. And will this bear market once again last one year, just like we did before two times in a row? Well, I do think so. And if this were true, we would be starting another bull market right now. And that would mean we are entering this green stage, just like we did before right here. Of course, the monthly RSI cannot be forgotten as well. We are also looking into that right here with RSI levels being into the levels we were previously as well in the previous bear markets. And we are having this support line where we are currently bouncing from off. So definitely looking like the RSI is also about to be bottoming out. But for the weekly candles for Bitcoin, the only things that I still want to be seeing for a full on bull mode once again, because I want to be flipping full on bull mode once again, is that we close a higher weekly candle than we did right here before the FTX collapse. And I also want to be seeing a break of this resistance line, which is right now the most important resistance line that we need to be breaking. Now let's switch to the on-chain data right now. So what we can be seeing is this tweet from C Crypto Rover. We can be seeing that every, every white line represents the Bitcoin halving. And as you can see, every single time it takes three more months before the bottom is actually in. So yeah, right here at the first white line before the bottom was in, it took us 26 months. At the second white line until the bottom was in, it took us 29 months. So right now it must take about 32 months which currently already happened after this tweet right here. So this is indicating with the Bitcoin halving, with the Bitcoin supply, of course, that yes, right now the Bitcoin is Bitcoin bottom is very close or already in right here. So let's continue with some more on chain data right here. We can see the percentage drawdown from the all time high. And as you can see, we can clearly draw a trend line from of this level towards the current level. And as you can see, every single drawdown from the autumn high is less and less right now. And right now we can see we are getting supported from off this level. Now, the next one, the next signal we are getting is from the MVRZ Z score right here. And as you can see, every time we are coming up from of this green support box, you can see every time we come out of it, Bitcoin has bottomed out and it is typically a very good uh, region to be buying Bitcoin. So right now, once again, if you zoom very closely in, you, you can see that yes, right now we are coming out of this green box. And this is signaling once again that the Bitcoin price has bottomed out. Now, next up, let's go to the Nupo chart because right here we can also draw a very nice trend line, which is also indicating that we have found ourselves at support and we are currently bouncing from of it. 
and currently it is getting some more momentum towards the upside once again indicating bitcoin has bottomed out also the pure multiple showcasing once again the same thing you can be drawing this trend line and also showing that yes we found support and we are currently bouncing from of it now another another thing i want to be showing right here is the number of addresses of bitcoin with more than one bitcoin and as you can see it is clearly increasing very very steeply the recent couple of weeks but what i really want to be showing you is the number of addresses with 10k or more bitcoin and as you can see during this whole bear market the whales have been buying and buying and buying and recently during the last recent crash whales have been buying like crazy and every single time these whales are be buying during a bear market as you can see right here as well we are in for another bull market they are accumulating in towards a bear market and they are distributing in towards a bull market and this is very clearly you can you can very clearly see this in this chart right here now for the next on-chain data i want to be sharing guys with you this tweet right here as you can see the bitcoin hash rate is at its all time high, which means that Bitcoin has never been so strong as it currently is. So all of these signals pointing towards the fact that the Bitcoin price has bottomed out are not a coincidence. If you have not changed your mind about Bitcoin continuing to the upside, think twice while all the signals right here are in front of your eyes in this video if you want to be taking advantage of the upwards going market by buying bitcoin or even trading bitcoin for more returns you can do it safely on the exchange bybit which is my opinion the best place to buy spot bitcoin and trade bitcoin with the link in the description you can claim a deposit bonus of 30k and 500 dollars which is the highest deposit bonus you will find in crypto so thank you guys for watching this video buy your bitcoin and please like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys at a new video later